Good morning, you guys. It is your girl, Kia. Y'all up in the building. All up on your screen. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good day because y'all, oh, there's something on my mind. Won't somebody please, please tell me what's wrong? Dum, 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 dum. Listen, <laughs> no lie, that's how I've been feeling currently because. Have you ever taken the time to like self-reflect on life in certain situations that have happened and realize that, you know, you've been begging and wondering like, well, what was I supposed to learn from this? What was this for? Why is I going through it? And you guys, I really just had like a full circle moment about this. And I'm talking about it today because maybe it might help somebody else come to the realization of some stuff that in real life, sometimes you don't know that you've actually learned a lesson or that you've gained some type of knowledge from a situation until you're placed into a, a similar situation. You know what I mean? And so, I'm not going to get into detail about the situation, but I will talk about my previous history. My previous history, especially when it comes to men, that's what I'm talking about today. Let's just talk about it. When it comes to men and relationships and things like that, I'm one of the people that I always want to make sure you're straight. I want to make sure you're cool. I want to make sure you're happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Let me be perfect. Let me let me check on you. You okay? Did you eat today? Da 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 This, that, and the third. And like, when it comes to me, I feel like I don't get that back in return. And it's bugging me. And this is why it's bugging me. It's bugging me because... I know one thing about myself is that I don't like confrontation. We've already had this talk. I'm not a confrontational person. I can come at you if I need to now, but <laughs> my, my, I feel like my DNA personally is non-confrontational, okay? I want everything to be fine. I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I'm not one of those type of chicks who necessarily likes to nitpick at every single thing all the time. Those type of chicks annoy me. So I was always just like, well, I'll never be like that, okay? Some things I will let just go under the rug. And I got to one point, no lie, when I was a teenager, and this guy tried to help me out. I feel like that ex really did try to help me out. He's like, it seems like you like everything to be peaceful, but you hold everything that you dislike about a situation in, and then you explode when one thing happens that has nothing to do with everything else you've been allowing to build up. And he was 155% right. And I have still struggled with that into my adulthood. And he was like, you know, it just seems like you don't want to put up a fight. But you never, like, want to put a fight up for anything. And I'm like, I don't because I don't like drama. I don't like arguments. I don't like being upset with my significant other. I don't. That's just not me. I don't like that. I want peace. Always. You know what I mean? You know how to be like violence always. I want peace always especially when it comes to my mate because i'm like listen we get enough struggle out in the world okay we get enough struggle out in the world like can we come home and kumbaya it <laughs> and in reality i guess it's unreal to think that that is what a relationship could be with anybody whether it be romantic or whether it be like a friendship like stuff is bound to pop up and happen issues happen conflicts happen so I have to learn how to be able to address them head on and take care of that. You know what I mean? Before it messes me up. And I feel like a lot of women do that, especially for men. Um, we want so much peace. We'd be like, oh, it's okay. It's all right. You know, they give us peanuts. And in real life, we're allergic to peanuts. But he was just so happy giving us peanuts that we just be like, oh, thank you, thank you. And he just keep giving you peanuts and peanuts and peanuts. And you never say nothing, sis. And you got indigestion. Okay, you breaking out in the hives for him. When in real life, he wouldn't do nothing like that for you. In real life, he would be like, uh, yeah, I don't like, I don't like green eggs and ham. <laughs> Sam, I am. I don't like green eggs and ham. Like, and they tell you straight forward. And that's the thing about most men. Most men are like very blunt in what they feel and what they dislike and what they like. However, a woman will be like, oh, well, you know, if he likes it, I want him to be happy, so I'll let him like it. And I found myself doing that 
in the last relationship, the last serious relationship I was in, which was a while ago, um, all the time. And it got to the point that when we did end up breaking up, I was not finished. <laughs> and this is what I mean by not finished. I was not finished because the way it ended so abruptly, I regretted the fact that I didn't call him out on all the mess that used to bother me. I just swept it under the rug until it was too late for me to call him out on it. You know what I mean? And it wasn't even a call out to like nag or anything. It's a call out that he probably really needed to know. But I'm still just like, well, I don't, I don't want to start a fight. I don't want to do this. I, I want to be perfect, perfect. That I literally slept, swept stuff under the rug and then it was over. I was left with the, the dust and the pile under the rug. And I was still upset about it. And I had to deal with it after the fact by myself. The person gone. The person that I was supposed to solve that out with is gone. And so now I'm stuck here with this pal and feeling like I was never my real self. And some people are going through that. And that's not good for you, sis. You got to check on you. You got to take care of you. I understand that you have to choose your battles. Absolutely. But sometimes we don't choose a battle. And that was me. And now I realize that when I do talk to new people that I'm like totally different about it. Like I refuse to keep taking peanuts and your bare minimum of effort while I'm giving my maximum and being okay with your bare minimum and, and making it seem larger than life, larger than what it is. I refuse to deal with that. I refuse. I'm gonna call you out on it. Now I'm still one of those people, I don't wanna nag on every single thing. I still I'm learning how to pick my battles but even sometimes then like even sometimes I'm still just like not picking a battle when I should <laughs> but I'm learning to be able to speak up for myself in certain situations like okay so you're not going to do this to me I am peeping that this is a one-sided thing and that's not cool with me you need to either fix it or I'm either going to remove myself from the equation like I'm a lot more vocal than I feel like I've ever been in my life and I feel like that is because I have went through a situation where I wasn't vocal enough. And so my side of the story, my part, my feelings didn't even matter. But now they do matter because I'm making sure that they do. If you get what I mean, I think it's something important to learn and to deal with. And some, some sisters just got that sass already, you know, and then some people overdo it. <laughs> Some people overdo it like, ma'am, you don't have to go off about every single thing every day, all the time. You got to find something. No, what? Uh, no, you can bring that up tomorrow. But I'm learning not to stuff it in because when I do stuff it in, it's it comes out at the wrong time. And then I do look like some crazy person that's been sitting here festering over something. Because you know what? I have been. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I am trying to like stop stuff in its track like okay don't leave me on I'm one of those people don't leave me on what are you thinking where is your head at because I know me I'm a loving person okay and I want to see nothing but the best for you but if you sitting over here trying to play games with me we're gonna have a problem so tell me in advance what it is you want because I don't want to be the only one giving a hundred percent when you only want to give ten that part that part or wanting to be in a relationship with you and you don't even see nothing for me outside of this moment. That part. Like, I realize that as much as I can be like my exes were jerks and all this other stuff and all this other stuff, like at the same time, I also have to be held accountable for the fact that I never spoke up. That was me. So listen, sometimes I overspeak, which I mean that's bound to happen, but at least I'm saying something. But I just don't want things to go too far that it's just like, bro, I never want to be in a relationship or with a friendship with anyone where I feel like I have bit my tongue to the point of bleeding and now the friendship is over, the relationship is over, and I still have all of this, all of these feelings because I didn't get them out then. Like, no, I'm going to let you know how I'm feeling, point blank in the period, whether you want to hear it or not. Listen, you can sit there and be like, I'm not reading all this. That's fine, but you know what? I got it out. And that's things that I've never done before. I never just got it all out. I always was just like, well, you know, 
It's fine. He'll he'll learn. He'll see. He'll get it. He'll read between the lines. Bro, these men out here are special, okay? You have to literally write it down for them. Literally draw pictures and all. You need a whole slideshow projector. You need to have your, uh, what is it? Your PowerPoint presentation ready sometimes. Sometimes you need a little movie tutorial to let them know this is not what we finna do. Okay? Okay, let's make sure. Now read it back to me. What did you take from this? Like literally, I'm to that point in life where I'm like, okay, so I'm telling you how I feel. What are you taking away from what I'm feeling? What have you heard me say? Because a lot of people, you know, they don't hear you. They just start dabbling into their feelings and they ignore the fact that you're pouring out your heart to them. So you really got to check them like that. Like, I'm sorry, you're not just going to be treating me any type of way. And I'm not just going to be accepting any type of treatment just because I like you, just because you look good, just because this is good, that's that's good. You have potential. Just because of that, like, no, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you out. Like, listen, sometimes when you don't pick a battle or you don't pick a fight, you can come off as weak. And nine times out of ten, it's because you are weak in that area, which I was weak. I've been a weak woman before. Not, you know, in general, but in certain areas of my life, I have been weak in that area. You know what I mean? But don't be no weak chick, okay? Don't be no weak chick. Not for these folks out here that's just running around getting what they want and being happy and being blunt and living their full story and their whole life out here and you just scared to do you. Because you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. I don't want to cause a fight. I don't want to cause no disruption. I don't want to, you know, break up the peace. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. If it stay on your mind longer than a day, talk about it. <laughs> Listen, if it stay on your mind longer than a day, talk about it. And I say a day because, listen, take 24 hours. If it keep popping up, like, man, that really annoyed me that you... Didn't flush the toilet today. <laughs> Man, it's really annoying me that you keep trying to feed me peanuts and you know I'm allergic. Like, sometimes you got to take control of your own life in that aspect. Literally. And sometimes you don't even have to take a day. Sometimes you need to call them out right then. If you call me out of my name, I'm calling you out right then. I don't need to wait. You know what I mean? It's certain things that you don't need to wait for certain things you also don't need to have to always react to. I'm going to be like, listen, I'm going to tell you this once. I might tell you this twice. But after the second time, if you do it, like, it's going to be a problem. Point blank in a period. So I need you to correct it. And I'm going to need you to hear me. You hear me, I hear you. That's how this works. So, yeah. That's been on my mind today because I literally did just, like, call somebody out. <laughs> I just called somebody out and I was like, wow, Kia, like, you never would have did that before. <laughs> you have always been like, well, I'll let it go, you know, whatever. And let it build up and build up and build up. And then when the situation ends abruptly and you didn't get to say your say, then you feel some type of way. Forever. Like, that's on you, boo-boo. That's on you. Are my exes still jerks? Absolutely. <laughs> that I should have came out of in certain situations would be different now. <laughs> so, yeah. I just wanted to share that. A little growth that I notice about myself. And it'll probably be more as I live this life that we're living. But there's so many things I feel like we go through that we really won't recognize how strong we really are as people until we are put in that situation again. And then we handle it differently or we see it differently or we are able to take charge better so yeah that's my little video for today maybe it helps somebody maybe it didn't maybe it was just me getting it out whatever the case kia you got this stay true to this open your mouth tell people how you feel about situations don't be over here being weak we ain't weak my daddy ain't raised no punk you hear me my daddy ain't raised no punk and my mom ain't raised no sister. Not just playing. <laughs> I'm being silly. I'm being so silly. All right. Well, y'all got the gist of this. I'm going to put on my eyebrow. 
and my lipstick and my lashes and move on with my day thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you later you already know bye